Mansell was a little more alert as he lined up to take third place on the grid behind Senna and Berger. Once again, Senna made the perfect start. Unlike his teammate who relied on the McLaren's superior engine power to make up for his mistake, Prost had a terrific getaway from fourth position, but he couldn't split Mansell and Berger. Lap two brought Berger's second mistake of the day. He was trying to adjust something on the dashboard when the McLaren bounced over a bump, pushing his hand onto the ignition switch, which promptly cut the engine. Mansell gleefully moved into second place. Already past Prost, Piquet's win in Japan had obviously fueled the former world champion's appetite because he proved the point by another great outbreaking manoeuvre on Berger, and this took him through into third position. The crowd were entertained by some aerobatics from Nicola Larini in the Ligier. Amazingly, Larini could continue. Riccardo Patrese had a huge moment at the first corner when Gianni Morbidelli's Minardi blew up in front of him. Consummate skill relieved the danger. On lap 43, Mansell span into an escape road without forfeiting his second place but losing ground on Senna. That was the Ferrari's way of telling him he needed new tyres. The pit crew rose to the task brilliantly, although he dropped from third to fifth place in the process. Berger, meanwhile, was on his way to mistake number three. He ran wide over a high curb to let Prost through to third place. The first win of the year still to elude the Austrian. Then came the strangest of sights. Senna driving straight on at a corner and head on into a crash barrier. Later, the new world champion revealed he'd had a gearbox problem. No win to celebrate his second world title. For the second year running, Senna fails to finish the last two races. Getting the most from his new tyres, Nigel Mansell was by far the quicker of the Ferraris. Alain Prost acknowledged the fact and led his teammate through without a fight. Nelson Piquet hadn't stopped for tyres and at times it showed. At least the escape road was wide enough to let him rejoin the circuit proper without losing his lead. With eight laps to the flag, it was all PK versus Mansell. The former Williams teammates were putting on a grandstand finish worthy of the last race of the season, which kept the crowd enthralled up to the last minute. Mansell broke lap record after lap record as he closed on the Brazilian. No one knew whether he would catch his man and earn himself a fitting farewell to Ferrari. Behind them, Prost came close to ending his race early, running wide at the same corner as Berger and Piquet. The last lap, Mansell had but one hope left for the lead at the end of the straight, and he bravely went for it, but failed, the Benetton and Ferrari narrowly missing each other, and Mansell losing time as he recovered. The danger was over for Piquet, and he had a clear run to his second victory in a row, and third place in the Drivers' Championship. Few could have predicted an end to the season quite like this for the former world champion. Now the prospect of a fourth title looks eminently possible. So PK brings more joy to Benetton Hearts. And a valiant second place for Mansell. With Prost third, Berger fourth, Bootson fifth and Patrese picking up the final point for Williams. By now, Nelson's getting used to winning again. Well, I was very comfortable in 10 seconds in the front, and I got a two big traffickers in the two laps in the road, and Nigel closed about four seconds after that. And, uh, and after that, I, I tried to overtake people, make my tires a little bit dirty. I went straight to one of the corners, and Nigel closed up the rest. And after that, I started to go like hell. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, last lap, I got another trafficker more than a four of me, and Nigel closed up the rest of the beat. And uh, neither the shit hit the fan. <laughs> Nigel, certainly a very exciting race for your last race with Ferrari. What about next year? Are you looking forward to your prospects with William? Yes, I think so. I think it's another new challenge. Um, I think I'd like to congratulate, you know, Frank and uh, and what he's done. And um, you know, I've got no crystal ball, but we're here racing, and uh, we finished on a high note with Ferrari. And I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank Ferrari and, and everybody. Go on. Yeah, it's very good. 